it's been over it's been over a month now right feels like it's been way i've <clears throat> oh excuse me i feel like i was about to sneeze and cough at the same time it's been over it's been over a month but i feel like it's been more than that anyways what's going on it's your boy all time back with another jojo lands video i know i had to wait for two chapters to drop i mean the last chapter chapter 17 i believe let me move my screen around i'm pretty sure it's chapter 17 that came out in august so i'm pretty sure at the time i was still in the midst of leaving hawaii and then after that in uh chapter 18 it just dropped a couple days ago so you guys know what time it is another video another jojo lands video I'm excited, man. Again, I, I've said this many, many times as this part has continued that I've been having a lot of fun with this part. I've been enjoying it with you guys, and it's going to be, again, a long journey before this part sees any midst of a conclusion, but I, I want to enjoy it, analyze it, really try to get into the nitty-gritty of it. There's a lot of YouTubers that I... I don't want to say a lot, but there's a decent amount of YouTubers that I know that are covering the Jojo Lands as well. Uh, I watch them. So shout out to them as well. I know I'm like a minor voice, but at the same time, I don't, I'm not going to take back what I said before. If you guys are new, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, so you guys remember his videos by your boy. I'm not going to regret what I said before. I'm carrying the Jojo Lance community on my back. Okay. I got the star on my back for a reason. Um, you guys have been here since my Steel Ball Run series and for my Jojolian series. At the time making those series, I was still hesitant on making manga videos. I didn't really know how to until you guys just said, hey, we want to see it. It don't matter. So eventually I worked hard at it and um, we're here now. So and, I, and I'm, I'm grateful for it. Get your snacks, get comfortable. All my Jojo, uh, all my Jojo fans, y'all ready? Um, I actually have a lava rock uh, in, my, in my book bag uh, over there from Hawaii. So, I finally, you know, a lot of stuff to talk about when we get to it. I want to make this discussion really, really good, really, really long. The intro is already almost three minutes. It's like two minutes-ish, kind of. I've been drawing as well. Uh, I'll show you guys a drawing later. I'll show you guys a drawing at the end of the video if I remember. You guys ready? It's been over two months. I mean, well, a month, but for you guys. But for me, it's like been almost two months. I'll see you guys. What happened last time? Howler was revealed um his agents right i'm pretty sure it was the who was it it was the girls bags groove uh lulu chan i believe and glory days ah and uh bobby jean that was his name so yeah he's pulling up deep at the hospital we just got the rights of the land like there's so much stuff going on Invest in your jo your JoJo Land stocks right now, guys. Because I promise you, we gonna it's gonna go up. I'll see you guys in the JoJo Lands. JoJo Lands. America got shook. Hawaii shook. This is a one-man show. Ah, this time is special. Shushin, JoJo Jones. So guys, new Ultra Jump spread. Look at this. Oh, this looks so clean. Let's read this. Ultra Jump, September uh, 2024, uh, the 9th. The Jojo Land's Araki Hirohiko, the newest volume forward now on sale with a great fanfare. Buy Destiny back. Oh my gosh. Look at Jodio. Look at the charming man. Look at Usagi. Look at my girl Dragona. Oh my. They all look so clean. Look at my girl or my, my boy Paco. This spread, this might be the thumbnail. I don't know. This is definitely 
I'm pretty sure this might be a new volume cover. Um, this is just the Ultra Jump, obviously, but still, this is really cool to see, you know, in its raw authenticity. I remember, guys, going back in, on my own time, I was looking at the Steel Ball Run, I was looking at the Jajolian um, Ultra Jump spreads, because, you know, at the time, while they were alive, I wasn't paying attention, you know, I wasn't there. So, in which Jajolian being the most recent part that ended, I believe, in 2021, 2020, 2022, I believe it was 2021, the color spreads and the Ultra Jump spreads were always sort of modern, right? I mean, they, they felt modern because of views coming out, you know, monthly and stuff, so it's like, for me coming back from Hawaii, still working on that video, by the way, to this, it's, it's just, it's cool to see... It's cool, man. I mean, guys, this is insane. We're live. We're here for a JoJo part. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the cover art. It's hard, though. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. Oh shoot! But guys, some of y'all are wondering, hey, when you when you when you went to Honolulu, you know what, what? Did you see the Did you see the crew? Hey, guys, I might have figured out what the mechanism means. You know, I might have uh, I had to help them out during this arc. I might be in this chapter actually. You know. But anyways, let's go check out the cover art for this video. The Jojo Lands, the Howler Assassin Set Loose. Chapter 18, The Girls Bags Groove Part 3. Araki Hirohiko. Here it is, guys. Howler, you know, the Howler Assassins. And this, and again, guys, this is first arc. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd argue this is debatably the second arc-ish. Maybe even the third if you want to be that guy. Because we haven't even hit 20 chapters yet. But we've already had to deal with over two fights so far. If not three if you want to be technical. I mean, we had to deal with Rohan, right? That was sort of like our first encounter. Not really the police officers, but, you know, Rohan was our first encounter. Then we get the, the, the mysterious man, the owner of the Lava Rock, that being the Charming Man. And then we, I mean, I mean we actually get the cats, but then the cats and then the Charming Man. So then now we're getting Howler Assassins. I'll see you guys. You guys already know. I'm excited, man. Let's go. Let's go. So, um, Agent Bobby G, I'd really like to be a part of your family. Would that be okay? I think it would be kind of nice. I want to be your child, Bobby Jean. Uh, what? Um, uh, huh? Well, since, you know, I don't have any parents of my own, I was hoping to be, like, adopted. I promise I'll always be good, so please, it's okay, isn't it? I want to be your daughter, Bobby Jean. Also, I love you. Uh, or, uh, Lulu-chan. I'm not sure what you're feeling right now that would make you say that, but I already have three children of my own, and the children aren't exactly easy on the bank. And besides, my wife doesn't even know you. I really doubt she approve of it. And, uh, Lulu-chan. All that, buy me this and buy me that that you were doing before. If one of my kids in my household acted like that, I'd give their behind a whooping. That kind of girl is maddening. Huh? Why? Why? It's the truth. I bought you those things because we're together for work. But you didn't buy those things because you love me? Nope. Otherwise, I'd give your behind a whooping. Uh, hey now, are you crying? Uh, simmer down. Good things will come your way eventually. I'm sure. Uh, blow your nose. By the way, Lulu-chan, what are you waiting here uh, on this bench for? Well, we should go back to floor B1 pretty soon, right? I wonder if they're dead at this point. You mean those five down there? Yes, they should be. But it's possible not all of them are. This is a hospital, so they'll heal someone if they're injured. And I wonder what's going on about that sick one. They're on a different floor, unharmed. It's almost like- wait, 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 wait. He shot like in the last chapter. Glory Days, his stand, that's obviously his stand. He shot another gun stand. I'm pretty sure, again, we haven't seen a gun stand since Stone Ocean. I could be wrong on that. I don't remember any in, in Jajolian or I think Steel Ball. I could be wrong. It's just not you know, in my head. I remember Valentine used to use a gun. But my point is, he shot them. They instantaneously disappeared. And now they're back on the first floor or a different floor. What is his stand? What the heck is this? They should be dead, but we know they're not, you know what I'm saying? They got the Lava Rocks power, but what does that mean? What are you going to do once we get back to the basement? Do you have some other orders you have to fulfill? Lulu-chan, I need to make sure. It's vital that I know whether they all died. Suppose so, but if we head over, um, we might find ourselves in a sea of blood. Oh, well, looks like we have identified one of them. His appearance matches Paco Labra Antares, age 19. He has military experience and had a dishonorable discharge. 
and for the others, they're probably still minors. How can it change your thing if you The bullets aren't going slow. They're pushing their way into Dragona. You gotta use your smooth operators. Damn it, six of them are hitting me. Look at the dynamic widespread. This is hard. This, this makes me want to draw. This makes me want to draw. But the bullets are going slow. It's slow bullets. We, we knew this from the previous chapter. They're still falling. I'm pretty sure this is all the midst of one quick action, like they're falling. But the bullets are slowly firing at them, so shouldn't they be able to dodge? But my thing is, I don't think they're able to dodge, because again, they're bullets. So, they still, like, they're still going to hit you, but they're just moving in slow motion, if that makes any sense. Do you guys not understand what I'm saying? I mean, I think that's the case, but it seems like we're gonna get Baby Girl Dragona to, to save us, but... Ooh, it, it's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hurry and pull them out. They're slowly digging into me. Big Mouth strikes again. Whoa, they're flying slowly. This is the work of a pursuer stand user. Where did they shoot it from? They came down that way. Does that mean somebody figured out that we were here and are after us? Did anyone see what happened? How are those bullets fired? Something wrong? Are you alright? Us? Uh, no problem here. Go ahead and take care of the patients who need help. These bullets aren't automatic pursuer types. So someone was able to track us down here somehow. This is bad. I can't believe they got us here already. This is way too fast. No, I wouldn't say that. This actually makes me feel hopeful. It means that something of monetary value is already gathering towards the lava rock. In other words, the enemy is pursuing us because they've realized they're losing assets. The enemy faces probably went white and ghost when they saw how much money they lost. So this is 50 billion dollars worth of land we're talking about. If something of that value is moving right now, it means it's moving towards us. Howler, huh? A howler pursuer. There's two of them here. So the guy and the other with an automatic pursuit Lysian stand. Oh, and look at Usagi. He's still in the middle of it, but it looks like he's in the process of an MRI with his Mate Kurosai DNA. It looks like he's at his limit. We've got to heal him fast. But if we don't beat the enemy stand in his body, he'll be in real trouble. Start the scanning. Start by scanning the inside of Usagi's brain. Jodio and I will stand guard. The enemy has already fired off 12 shots without us noticing. I didn't even hear any gunshots. The shooter's using a silencer they recovered from the cartridges. I only heard one shot. That was probably the last one fired and the bulls moved towards us slowly, allowing them to kill everybody without anyone realizing where they shot it from. That's their stand. They might be able to control the speed of the bullets. He only heard the initial first shot because that's how the stand is activated. That's why he said glory days. But the moment he shot it, he shot it from... anywhere? But they were right behind them. So unless, so unless like they moved in between the chapters, then that makes sense. But I'm guessing they have to be close though. Like it can't be a situation where Bobby Jean just shoots on the first floor and then the bullets like follow. I don't believe that's how it works. Like he has to be right behind them, like actually aiming at them. So, okay. The enemy must have fired their shots and went off somewhere. You think they'll come back down this hallway? You can bet on it. They didn't finish us off after all. Even if they fled, they should still be hiding out somewhere. Another attack is going to be vital for this enemy, so they need to be ready to do that. And when they do, we'll take them down instead. With this stand ability, they aren't shooting with a rifle. They fired from some distance, so they probably got into that elevator. They're most likely on the floor above us now. Usagi, don't move. Do your best to stay perfectly still. Uh, I got kindred, dude. Okay, we got the images. Here's the first one. You're gonna don't get too close to the entrance and close the door. An MRI uses magnetic resonance to take pictures of the inside of the body. It's generally harmless, but I've heard bringing metal things close to it is dangerous. The wire is caught too. It looks like tattoos can burn too. Uh, you gotta watch out for that, but we're in a hurry to take photos, so I guess you just gotta put up with that level of magnetism. Okay, I got more of the images. Hurry up and figure out so they can get the leeson. Stay here, Jodio. I'm gonna go check the first floor. No! 
Hey, put them hands up. Hey, hey, Paco, put them hands up. Y'all ready? We about to get active. They about to get active. Oh my gosh, they're about to get active. Y'all, y'all locked in? Agent Bobby Jean, what exactly is going on here? Who the hell are these people? They're still alive? Yup, suppose so. It looks like there's no sea of blood. But the bullets hit their mark, but these people defended against them. In that case, we'll have to carefully take each of them out one by one. That sound just now. Just got off. Jodio, those two who look like father and daughter are the shooters. They're right in front of you. Charming man, we're not gonna make it. We need to head into his body soon or he's done for. Don't move Usagi's body. It's not done taking the photos. He's taking a turn for the worse. Usagi. Oh my god. Not when all else fails. We gotta rely on your boy Jodio. Hold on, hold on. But wait. I knew I was gonna get active. Wait, 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 wait. I'm telling you, he he slickly pulled so he doesn't need to be near. He doesn't need to be near. And they did move. So I just wanted to be quiet for that. But he anonymously shot it, and it looks like we're gonna get it. Ooh, we're gonna get another perspective switch of Howler. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, okay. A lot I wanna talk about. This chapter is almost over, let's continue. We hit him real hard the moment his jet landed. I bet that Howler asshole is just trembling in utter shock right now. His loan from us in the bank of 30 billion dollars, in Howler's land. We've gotta collect it from him and fast, before there is an arrest warrant out there for the country bumpkin and his assets are frozen. But this being a major money matter and all, my nerves are all really starting to make my stomach hurt. I'm gonna take a prescription for my stomach medicine written for me. You wait right there, just for a minute, okay? Hmm? A stray bullet hits the target, to be continued. Was that planned? To take out the people who were trying to take his assets, you know, like the... The plot continues. Crazy chapter coming back, guys. Chapter 17 was insane. Not only do we get more about Lulu and Howler, we will continue with chapter 18. Look at the cover art now, it looks really cool. But... We understand now how Glory Days works, I suppose. We're gonna, we're probably gonna be getting a stat card later or something, you know, may, uh, maybe later. As for now, probably not. But. Ooh. Usagi's getting worse. Dragona's attached to the metal thing, so. Sh so, Dragona can't move. Paco fell down in an elevator because he had to shield himself from the blast while Jodio is still recovering, sort of. So it's it's all up to him. It's all up to him, though. The the charming man is with um Usagi, too. And the person who was after Howler caught a stray bullet. That bullet was not strayed. Either that was from him or that was from somebody else. But it it was either from Bobby Jean or it was from somebody else. That It looked like it was coming out the elevator. But wait, no, but wait, guys, before we continue, let me go all the way back down because I, I clicked on the next chapter. Did that official pull up to the hospital? Or is he in an entirely different place? Because if he is in an entirely different place, somebody else did it. Who did it, though? If he is in a different place, who did it? We'll check out the next cover art right now. JoJo Magazine, the fourth issue, 2024 winter. Deadly danger pours from above. The fourth issue of the magazine with nothing but JoJo content. JoJo Magazine's 2024 Winter goes on sale Wednesday, December 18th. Chapter 19, Volume 4, now on sale at the Great Fanfare. Glory Days, Part 1. Baraki Hirohiko, The JoJo Lands. Seems like we actually get the actual cover art now, you know, from the previous weeks, um, or the previous months, um, Ultra Jump, and that's Jodio and Paco here, so... Not only do I want to see more of November Rain, but we got to see how creative November Rain can be. Remember, in his mouth? Because he was shot through the mouth. In the mouth, though, 
That's creative, guys. I've said it before, and I will say it again. I'll flip my screen around one last time before we start the video. When I first got introduced to Soft and Wet, I never thought in my wildest dreams, what could be so good about Bubbles? You know what I mean? Or when we were reading Steel Ball for the first time, guys. Keep in mind, I was fresh off of Stone Ocean. What's so good about Nail Bullets? So we gotta, we gotta really, we have to really lock in for this part and think about what could possibly be November Rain's secret ability or evolution or power. It seems like in the beginning of this chapter now, we're going to be getting a brief switch to Howler now. So the more I'm seeing Howler, the more I'm questioning. I've heard people's theories about Howler. We'll, we'll continue in the discussion, so lock in for that. See you guys in chapter 19. The secret story of the founding of Howler Corporation. If the reports are true, it happened as follows. Five generations ago, the great-great-great-grandfather of Aka Howler, age 42 had the last name Latrado, as he was a sailor who had been born in Italy. But then in 1843, he was in an accident at sea and washed up on the Wapipo Valley in the island of Hawaii. It's said that he fell in love with an island girl that helped him. He gained the trust and approval of Hawaiian royal family, started to farm on the north slope of Hualalai and married the girl. Except for the jungle in the north, there are no water sources on the island of Hawaii. Because of the soil on the island of Hawaii is made up of material ejected from the volcano's eruptions. The rainwater permeates deep underground and flows out the ocean from there, and as a result, no rivers form. The north slope of Hualalai was truly an arid region of volcanic rock with no meadows growing on it. But Lachado was born with an intuition when it came to terrain. Rather than build vertical wells, he came up with an idea of digging tunnels horizontally in the slope of the mountain. There are gaps inside of the soil between volcanic rocks. He believed there were places underground where rainwater had been accumulating, and so Latrado spent many months digging in the horizontal tunnels. At last, he discovered a number of underground waterways and meadows flourished over the terrain of volcanic rock, as Latrado means howl in English when the Hawaiian archipelago joined the United States. They changed their name to Howler and launched the Howler Farms. In the 1960s, luxury hotels and villas form rich folks started being constructed. With the need for a reliable water supply, Howler's Farms water source suddenly attracted major attention. And so politicians started giving the Howler Farm favorable treatment. Riding on this momentum, Howler Farms established the water resource and water power generation infrastructure company of Howler Corporation. Then they extended their business into port rights, transportation, and the Munitious industry. Legally, the North Slope of Hualalai was owned by descendants of the royal family and under the jurisdiction of the state of Hawaii, but in the same name of supplying the water sources, it de facto belonged to Howler Corps, whether people liked it or not. People giving remember oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have to interject here. Remember Merle May's narration about the importance of the land, people claiming land. People either marrying into claiming land, we give the land meaning or value, monetary value or definition, so much so that Howler was sort of, it, he inherited the rights to such uh, royalty or fortune, right? And again, all of this history is going to be important for the themes of, of the Jojo lands. This makes sense. This actually makes sense, and I'm getting like goosebumps just thinking about this. Let's continue. Currently, no one, not even the state government officials or police, can come onto the northern slope without their permission. Even if dangerous substances used in the illegal munitions industry were to be blown up by the wind from the land to somewhere else and got discovered. Even if people die or go missing on that land. The North Slope belongs to the sixth generation head of the Howler family, Aka Howler. Howler Corporation has been estimated $50 billion in assets and it has been extended to reach onto the other four islands to gain better and further power. Damn it. I didn't notice when they fired the gun. Jodio, it's the two that just got off. They went down.
Don't stop flailing around, Dragona. We're not getting any photos of him like this. Quiet him down. Just so you know, I'm pretty sure Usagi is already unconscious. I have already my smooth operators going into his nostrils and pushing it further away into his brain. I know how it looks, but he's calming down. Hurry, Charming Man. Find the location of the Leeson. Usagi's life force itself is fading away. Hold on. Damage your... Did you catch up to it, Dragona? Usagi's brain is starting to break down. I'll say it again, it's temporal lobe Verniker area deep inside. One of them already made it in there. Caught it. The other three smooth operators caught up to it too. The thing's power isn't anything major. The operators can break it into pieces and drive it out. November 8th. He didn't know, like, he didn't know, but then the moment, like, he saw the book, man, November rain, he said, get that out of it. Oh, my. You could argue, like, guys, you could sort of argue that because they were off guard as to why they were shot in the last chapter or in chapter 16, so my last video. But in this one, it seems like, I'm gonna flip my camera on just for a little bit. It seems like here he was able to react to the bullets fast enough. Now, keep in mind, these bullets are moving slow. But I still think they're bullets, if that makes any sense, guys. But if they're just, but they're, if they're moving slow, they're moving slow. But the way he reacted to that, look, let me go up, let me go, look, look, look at my, look at the boy, though. Like, what are y'all talking about? That was horrible, man. That might be a thumbnail. <laughs> this kid, did he make the wall look like this hallway back there, too? Oh, darn it, Lulu Chan. I guess I'll be doing this myself, but the cleanup afterwards, it looks like it's gonna be pretty rough. Luchon, we're gonna have to erase our location from the hospital security cameras. Man, I really wanna ask that guy, what exactly are they after? These guys are serious too. What was the real intention behind browsing the land deeds? Why did they go and look at Hallercore's paper deeds? They want the assets, Bobby Jean. It's about the 50 billion and all. Hallercore is losing everything and it's gonna become theirs. Somehow or other, some system's been messed up. Oh. I couldn't tell you the exact details of what's happening right now, but it's clear that's what will happen if we don't take them out. That guy just now was young, but he seems sort of commanderish. That's the sort of look he has. Anyhow, we'll start with him. Take him out. One of the other has the lava rock. It's vital that we collect it. Don't let them get away, all right? Okay, I'll let them go to the right. That's a dead end within the building. Everyone eventually dies of an accident or illness, no matter who they are. These guys went and stuck their noses in where it didn't belong. And that's how we ended up here right now. Okay, smooth operators, get a hold of it. I can drag it out. I can remove it from Usagi's brain. What the hell is this? Usagi, what's going on here? Inside of Usagi's brain, it's not just one. When did all of those get inside of his body? What? Metal. The dull head. When did it get stuck into the door? The MRI's magnetism. First of the ones of the land's registry deeds, and now this? They're the ones who stands placed on the doll. Dragona, don't touch them. The user must be somewhere nearby. Going on the makeup of this building, down the hall to the right, here in the basement, floor one, is a dead end. There are two doors, one to the left and one to the right. Don't fret, he's a boy. If he's going to hide and try to launch a counterattack on me, then which door would he take? Huh? Take this. What you think for? He's already fired in this direction. Hard. The cold-hearted pursuers attack from the inside out to be continued. Damn it! Oh, cliffhanger! Damn it! Oh my gosh, that was so good! Guys, I was locked in! No! Damn it! But wait a minute. Best JoJo... Nah, let me stop, let me stop. So guys, 
big, big, big lock. A. Hey, guys, let me, let me, let me, let me calm down. Let me calm down. Lock in for the discussion. We got to talk about this. Okay. Let's start off with the beginning. We'll sort of continue towards the end, and then we will formulate our theories and ideas. I'm going to make this discussion really long, just because it's been a while. It's been a long time. I feel like it's been a while, excuse me, since we've made, uh, you know, a JoJo video. But this sort of gives an insight to, excuse me, especially with chapter, what was that, 18? Especially with chapter 18. Um, or no, 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 with 19. Sorry, I was wrong. But with 18 and 19, this really gives an insight, 19 wise, as to what the JoJo lands is what's in store. But we'll start off with chapter 18, right? I, I won't flip my screen around too, too much. But I want to showcase the panels and sort of talk about what, what, uh, what went down, sort of break down everything as we, you know, sort of maybe flash some things on the screen for you guys. Starting off with Agent Bobby Jean and Lulu Chan. Uh, Jojo characters being typical Jojo characters, being stupid, goofy, funny, Lulu wanting to be adopted by Bobby Jean, even Bobby Jean saying, I would have spanked you if you were my kid. I would never adopt you. But anyways, and then we get this, the, the sequencing of panels of the squad getting shot, all of them getting damaged and shot. Again, they're barely able to escape death, or at least, you know, very, f like, uh, intense, uh, situations. Because of Smooth Operators, because of November Rain, and because of the Charming Man, they're able to, and even Paco. Paco's able to avoid damage in some way, but he had to wrap himself around the elevator door while falling down the elevator. That was really crazy. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I was right. I was confused on how Glory Days worked. We didn't see him shout Glory Days. But again, he can shoot the gun and the bullets can appear. It, it, se it seems like anywhere. You will always hear the first shot, though. But once he shoots, the bullets are, like, it was flying behind him at one point. And even when he shot the gun, it was it was to the side, right? So it can be anywhere, but he does have to be close to you. I thought he could be anywhere. Also, within this chapter, we got to see November Rain. I'll flip my screen around for this part right here. But while the squad is all getting shot, November Rain is used within his mouth. I found that really cool. It shows how creative November Rain can be, remember. I wanted to know more or less how November Rain worked. He even used it against Lulu Chan in uh, the end of chapter, the end of this chapter, going into chapter 19. Or no, no, I believe it was in chapter 19. But she wasn't that damaged by it. She was just immobilized. So we haven't really seen Jodio really kill somebody or actually like really hurt somebody as of yet. Um... I was very, I mean, comparing this to Tusk, I mean, when, when Johnny first activated one, right, activated Act 1, even going into Act 2, he was catching bodies, right? And even with Soft and Wet, Soft and Wet was just seemingly taking people's senses away, but then later into the part, you know, when he was facing off against, I'm pretty sure his name was Damo, I believe, he, he knocked his head off. So, Soft and Wet is really strong and can take people out so i wonder if november rain will sort of follow that trope where it's it's just going to be shown doing very niche things for now but then later it might be shown doing very crazy things this whole sort of arc is just people getting murked in a hospital a lot of ptsd for a hospital right you guys already know that getting flashed to the squad and them just being recovered to jodeo Jodio again, huge vibes of Jorno. I'll flip my screen around to this part right here. It means that something of monetary value is already moving towards the lava rock. Here's my mouse, guys. In other words, the enemy is pursuing uh, us because, excuse me, they realize that they're losing assets. And the $50 billion worth of land is, is what they're talking about. Lulu Chan talked about how Jodio was the type of guy who was commander-ish. It's funny how she said that, but she's not wrong. In a very intense situation... He is extremely combat active. Like, like again, I know that this is a spin on Golden Wind, right? I bring that up because... I bring that up, guys. Because, again, this is a spin on Golden Wind. That's right. Got a, got a manga cover, got a manga book here. This is volume... Well, this is a huge chunk, volume 5 of all of it. But it's like seeing the manga... Let me see if I can find a panel of... um. 
of Jorno here. I bring it up because Jorno in a lot of situations was very calm. It's, and I'm trying to think of the beginning chapters. Jorno was very... Very commanderish too. But I feel like in terms of... I don't know. I feel like Jodio is kind of has the edge over him. We'll go into that later. I mean, I'm going to talk about what happened within this chapter. Usagi's conditioning getting worse and them sort of adapting to the idea that the enemy must have fired their shots. And this is when we learn that this, like what the stand can actually do, what glory days can actually do. I feel like at the end of this arc, because the Jajolian did this a lot, at the end of this arc when both of them are bodied, then we will get their stat cards. Then we'll sort of get some information behind. I mean, we already know what Lulu can do. But it would be cool to see the stat card, the stats, and then the stat information about Glory Days as well. So, I thought Glory Days was going to be like a, again, a humanoid or maybe a colony like Dragona's or Lulu's here. But it seems like Araki is using a different type of stand that we haven't seen in a while, which is like a weapon stand. Really, a lot of the weapon stands were in Part 3. And there was some in Part... Was there any in part four and five? I believe so. But I, I remember the sniper from part six. Um, getting back into it, you think that they'll come back down this hallway. You can bet on it. They didn't finish us off after all. If they still fled. Again, my fa like the, the duo that's locked in. The duo that stay locked in is Paco and Jodio. They, they are mean with it. Like I'm talking guys, since like chapter 10. I think was it chapter 10. Or I probably ever since the Rohan heist, they they just always been kind of in there. You know what I'm saying? They've always been kind of locked. So then Dragona gets hit with the magnetism as as the charming man's talking about it. And I find that pretty funny. He's just saying you're just gonna have to deal with it. And he's just you know looking at the trying to get the pictures, but Usagi keeps flailing around. So with these very intense situations where we're dealing with two enemy stand users, one that could kill you very fast. And one that can kill you very slowly, but still very fast in a different way. One that is impossible to defeat if you don't recognize it, which is the which is the girl's bag's groove. The very like almost molecule-like -like stand, right? Blood vessel type shape stand. That's how small the enemy uh, girl's bag's groove is. And then glory days, a slow motion type of stand and you would think that it, you would think that if it's slow motion you should be able to dodge it but i think they weren't able to dodge it because one they were off guard but two i think it still functions like a bullet it's just in slow motion if you guys understand what i'm saying that's what i was trying to understand or trying to describe it as in the middle of the video when jodio was able to react to it you know what I mean? That was the main thing that I was trying to say. But like what I was saying, it's like these minute situations where Usagi's down. His situation is getting worse, better by Dragona. But it looks like to us visually it's getting worse. Dragona's attached to the MRI and helping Usagi. The Charming Man is trying to help Usagi as well. Paco tried dealing or encountered the enemy stand, but then was sneak attacked and then had to protect himself but fell down the elevator. So it's all up to Jodio now. It's all up to him now. It's It, it, it kind of always is, you know, sort of. In a way, the the stillness of the like I I you know what now nah, nah, I won't actually no I will so th this whole sequencing it's just art panels talking right look at this the tension high like my heart was beating I was re I was reacting the whole time and then we get this widespread of him with a pistol behind his back he over here just just not you know not trying to blow his cover. And then we get another hit with the widespread here. Damn, this widespread looks really cool. And they automatically know. Man. I thought that woman in the black suit was going to be important. But I guess not. Paco gets shot. And has to wrap himself in the elevator. And as he's falling, he's saying, Jodio, it's the guy. It's them. But Jodio didn't hear it. I thought Jodio did. But he was already falling down the elevator, so he he I guess he didn't. And at the end of the chapter, we get sort of a brief description from the guys who tried like destroying Howler essentially, and they get taken out by a stray bullet. I may be overthinking this, but if they didn't arrive, my thing is if did they arrive at the hospital? I have to go back. Wait a minute, guys. I have to go back. I, I memorized the building. I have to remember what the hospital building looks like. That's a different building. 
So I was right. I was right. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, I went back to go check. That is a different building. So, he arrived at a different building, but was still shot, though. Like, unless that was from Glory Days and it can just travel that far. Or somebody else shot him. Whether that's important or not, we'll remember that. But he tried uh, pursuing, taking away Howler's land, so he died and was met with misfortune. so Or some type of calamity, right? So we got to remember that. If that is, you know, if that is any important at all. We'll talk a little bit more about chapter 18 towards the end when we, when we formulate our theories. But chapter 19, the big chapter, the big one. Chapter 18 was still pretty big, but 19 Glory Days Part 1 was the big one. Deadly danger pours from above. The secret story of founding the Howler Corps. More cool looking art of, of Howler in his five generations, his great, great, great grandfather. On how he... Excuse me, how he married it to... Like, I want to flip the screen around just for... Just for just to show you guys a little bit. This whole sequencing right here, the secret story of, of founding Howler right here, meeting the girl that he falls in love with, her being a part of Royal Descent, him marrying into her, except for the jungle of the water... Of the, um, of the North Jungle, of the water sources in the island of Hawaii. Now we're sort of getting a an understanding that there was no rivers formed. This is something that we learned about, I believe, in the beginning of the Jojo Lands. That as we got introduced to the Charming Man, that there was no water that was ever formed on the northern side. So there was, there was never water. But there was always these mysterious holes, water tubes being formed. So the northern slope of Hualalai... But he came with the intuition of the ter of the terrain and that maybe deep inside the soil beneath the volcanic ro rocks there was a sort of safe haven a sort of uh underground waterways meadows flourished be beneath i can only imagine when this is you know colored this is going to be beautiful the art is just amazing guys i haven't said it yet but this art is amazing right so we get an understanding of what howler or sort of howl means in English, you know, and it was changed to howler, howler farms. Fast forward to the 1960s. This is when we start to understand more about howler corporation, the power that it reigns over the land, the origins, how it came into power. We need, um, with the need of reliable water supply, howler farms, water source suddenly attracted major attention and politicians started giving Howler Farm favorable treatment. Riding on this um, momentum, Howler Farms established the water sources and water power uh, generation infrastructure company, Howler Corporation. Let me just skip. Actually, no, 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 right here. Legally, the North Slope of Hualalai, this part right here, owned by the descendants of the royal family and under the jurisdiction of the state of Hawaii, but in the same of the, uh, but in the name of supplying the water sources, uh, it de facto belonged to Howler Corporation, whether people liked it or not. Currently, no one, not even the state government officials or police can come into this. We already know this. No matter what happens, he is entitled to that land. He is owned. He owns that land because of his ancestors. Howler Corporation has estimated $50 billion in assets and has been extending the reach onto other four islands to gain even further power. I'm going to stop right there because when people tried formulating theories about the final antagonist for jo the Jojo lands... Diavolo, the boss of Italy, wasn't revealed till the end of the part. Howler is shown in the beginning, and the part is not afraid of showing us that and letting us know who Howler is, the influence of Howler, and how the how the corporation was founded. So, in the importance of the land and how that fits into the themes of the Jojo lands. So, my my sort of question is for this final boss or final antagonist. I love the design, by the way. It looks like a mix of gyro. People say it looks like gyro. I didn't even think about that because of the, the stripes. He looks like a Zeppeli uh, or a Zeppeli. And then he also looks like Giorno at the same time. He looks like both of them, which is really cool. People were theorizing that he might be a, a descendant of the Zeppelis, right? So that would be pretty cool. But my question was, if Diavolo was shown in the beginning, and this is actually the volume that I could sort of open while I show you guys, because this could be a very good comparison. It wasn't until... It wasn't until, let me see, 
this part right yeah this part right here but yeah people were just having theories on is he really the final antagonist of the jojo lands or is maybe the jojo lands remember guys you guys remember this whole part right here look, look with bruno seeing himself and then and then we get the reveal of of of, of king crimson and everything and then we end up seeing the stand first we end up seeing the stand first, you know, for its introduction, and that wasn't until very late into Golden Wind. So, and people also had ideas or theories that Howler was, Howler was a dopio. Maybe he's a secondary personality. Maybe he's a he's a Diego to a to a bigger Valentine, right? This could be like this could be so many things, but we definitely know Howler is the poster villain. He's the po he's the one that's that that's reigns over it all. His great great grandfather, right? Let me let me let me go back all the way up. He's the one with the great great grandfather, who, because of an accident in 1843, washed up on the Wapipo Valley in the island of Hawaii. I had to look because his, his drip looked really similar to Johnny's. I don't know why. But anyways, it's probably just because of the drip they wore back in 1843. He fell in love with a girl who helped him. He gained the trust of the Hawaiian royal family and started a farm on the northern slope of Hualai and married the girl. Again, this is all just origins. But he's the one. He's the one now. This is all past lore dump. Yes, but he's the one now with the entitled rights of the land. He's the owner. So, like, there, like, guys, there's no way, there's no way he isn't in any shape or way in, not involved with the end. He has to be. And whether it's going to end up with Jodio facing off against him, we did see a tease of his stand in my previous video. We saw the tease of his stand. As to what it could be or whatever the case may be, we don't know. But we did see his stand. So my question now is, what's next? But let's continue on with this chapter because I didn't really finish it. So I know I said I wouldn't flow my screen a lot, but I'm going to keep doing it anyways. This part right here where Jodeo, we're, we're seeing these, these groups of people, right? It could be anybody, but we know who they are. It could be anybody. He's walking. She drops the doll. And whether that was on purpose or not, I think it was on purpose. And as she picks it up, Jody was like, you know what? I'll pick it up for you, right? We get the sort of flash of them panicking even more, but Usagi's situation, Dragona, is allegedly getting better. So that's good. As Smooth Operators takes out another, excuse me, another girl's bag's groove, she starts bleeding again. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Jody noticed that. He noticed that immediately. He also peeped the bullets too. It was like, you know what? November rain. And I was just like, look at my boy though. And then he hits the, he hits the, uh, look at the pose, look. And then he bodies her. And then, and, and then, and then Bobby G starts opening, he starts upping and dumping. And Jody was like, bro, I gotta hit the feet. Tell me why Bobby G's like, bro, you taking out my girl? Pow, pow. And then Jody was just hitting the feet. And then people were just getting hit left and right. Like, that was my favorite, like, that was my favorite sort of we gotta run because <laughs> we know we know in um we we know in in steel ball run you know johnny can't run he ran away on his horse a couple times gappy was always running away <laughs> yeah, i mean he would never duck the smoke but when he knew he was outmatched hey he would just hit that joe star technique you know that, that joseph technique bro jody was like hey we out of here it just starts running <laughs> i find that really funny People were just getting hit in the hospital, but it's what Lulu says to, it's what Lulu says to Bobby Jean when she got hit with November and recovered. They want the assets, Bobby Jean. She finally tells Bobby Jean and lets him know. I couldn't tell you the exact details of what's happening right now, but it's clear that what will happen if we, that's what will happen if we don't take him out. The guy just now was young, but he's sort of, he's sort of commander-ish. That's the sort of look he has. Anyhow, it starts with him. We have to take him out. He's the one. Everyone eventually dies of accidents or illness, no matter how who they are. So I'm only guessing she might... I'm only guessing she might die. So judging by her philosophy. And maybe her sort of philosophy will speak volumes into this part. So 
Maybe. Who knows? Or maybe that's just the orc, right? We get a flashback. Uh, we sort of get switched, flashed to Dragona and her smooth operators fighting off, you know, the girls' bags groove. And the ending had me on my seat. Bobby Jean clearing out the hospital with the left or the right door. As he peeps into one door, Jody is already behind him. And he says, take this. He hits him with the, he tries to hit him with November rain, but the bullets are already traveling. So he's like, shoot, he already fired. So then Jody had to play defensive. I'm gonna flip it around here. But right here, once Jody says, take this, then he's playing defensive here. He has to move around while also blocking the bullets. And it ends up acting as like a shield. It's again, the rain is falling, but it's almost instantaneous. It's almost instantaneous. Every time he activates November Rain. With Soft New Wet and the Nail Bullets, they had to travel a certain distance. But with November Rain, November, or I'm pretty sure the rain does travel a certain distance. He did shoot the rain before, like, at the cats. But when he summons it really close, it, it falls down fast. That's what it feels like. And it seems like we're getting a break. So it seems like the, uh, the next series will be on hiatus. We're going to have to wait November. Damn. So guys, next, next JoJo Lane's video probably won't come out till December, till Christmas time, right? But that's okay. That's okay. That will probably be the last JoJo Lane's video of this year because we're going on a break. So that's fine though. We'll have this video and then we'll have another one. So then, then we'll be finally hitting and breaching chapter 20. So... I think sooner or later we'll be coming up on what, two? Is it two years or is it two and a half years? I'm not sure. But I think it's two years. We'll be coming up on two years of JoJo Lanes being out. Honestly, what do you guys think? What do you guys honestly, like again, I always say this every single video, but that because that's all we can do. There will be other YouTubers, like, you know, there's other JoJo creators that I would love to talk to or collaborate with, but it seems like, you know, I'll be watching them too. We can maybe react to some if that's what you guys want to see. But all we can do is theory craft. All we can do is really sort of try to understand what this part could be about. What is it trying to tell us as we're as we're reading the story month by month? You know, and I think that lore dump of Howler's backstory, it just reminds me of Jojolian when they would give backstories to Sugri, to Kato, to Jobin, to to Yasuho. We would just randomly get them, but when we do, it makes sense for the moment, or it makes sense overall for the part. You guys understand what I'm saying? So, it's like that that that, that, that backstory that we got with Dragona and Jodio. it was important for that, you know, for that chapter, for that video that we made. It was cool to see the absurdity the idea that Dragona represents the absurdity while while Jodio represents the logic that sort of dictates the world, the mechanism, the flow of trust, that type of way. But the the systematic flow of fortune that was always entitled to Howler, the current Howler, that sort of acts as a mechanism, if you think about it. But then the way that Jodio and his squad obtain the money is sort of in a way through the mechanism because of the Lava Rock. But it was also absurd. There's so many different things that we can interpret from this. And honestly, sad we're getting another break. The Cold Hearted Pursuers attack from the inside out. It seems like this fight's going to be going on for a minute. But I wonder how long this fight's going to go. Again, I feel like for this, when they, when they body Bobby Jean and Lulu, I have a theory. No evidence, right? I have a theory that when they win... Maybe before one of them dies, we're going to get more information about Howler. We're going to get a little bit of a sneak peek, but then they're going to die or something like that. I mean, these are agents. So, and, and with Lulu's philosophy, I'm almost inclined to believe that they're going to die. Even if Lulu's just a kid, I think with her stand being able to kill people like that, I think she's going to die. And I feel like for Bobby Jean, he has a family, man, but he's probably going to die. <laughs> so, but before they die, maybe we'll be getting like a... Because remember, Lulu's on the phone with Howler. Maybe we're going to be... You know, I got, I got my JoJo Land's... Uh, I got my Jojo Land's um, wallpaper for this video. But it, but maybe we're going to get a quick phone call between Jodio and Howler saying, look, look, kid, you better, A, hey, you better stop. And Jodio's like, bring it on. And then that's going to be, you know. The last thing I want to say before I end this video is Howler and Jodio, Toru and Gappy, Valentine and Johnny, Poochie and Jolene, Jorno 
and Diavolo. Kira and Josuke. Joseph and, and Cars. Jonathan and Dio. The reason why I say all these names, guys, is because every single villain parallels with the protagonist in some way, shape, or form. We already understand the narrative parallels between the good and evil, the morality, and the questioning of selfish, selfish, selflessness versus selfish or selfishness, that being Johnny and Valentine. The idea that Valentine was acting selfless but the one but being posed as the antagonist doing bad things while Johnny was being selfish do being portrayed as the good guy do, trying to do good things but still selfishly and then with Gappy being born from a calamity and trying to overcome everything with nothing Toru seemingly sort of I guess has everything and is the overall end-all be-all for Gappy the idea that he is the one plaguing the land I mean not just Toru but his calamities you know, we've, we've been talked about that, and I find all that really peak. But it's I wonder what the the mechanism... Because we, we understand Jodeo, sort of. The mechanism, trust, the idea that he doesn't like the absurd, versus Howler. He's going to parallel Jodeo in some way, if he is the final antagonist. I believe he is. But for right now, he's the poster final antagonist. So we're going to go off of that, especially with this chapter. So, and with this arc of the, let me see if I can find the title of it. Let me see if I can find the title of it real quick. Deadly Danger Pours From Above. The Howler Assassin set loose the JoJo lands. I am excited. I'm excited for next month. I wouldn't even say next month. It's not going to be next month, guys. I'll, I'll probably be, you know, I'll be seeing you guys near Christmas. But that's fine. You know, a lot of stuff's going to happen. I'm going to have videos in between then. So tune in for that. We're going to be doing some other stuff maybe related to JoJo in between. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it. Let me know what you guys want to see. Right? I'm going to be doing other stuff too. Something I want to see in the intro. I actually just beat Nier Automata. I don't know if you guys are Nier fans. I just beat it. I played it. It was a great game. I almost cried. <laughs> It was a great game. So there's a lot of other games and stuff I want to do for the channel. Man, I get I guys, I get so excited when, when I make these videos because JoJo is just such a it's a huge inspiration for me. It's a part of my it's it's essentially a part of me. Right. If you guys are new, leave a like. If you guys didn't like the video, dislike. I'm perfectly cool with that. Leave comments, comments, guys, theories, how you guys feel about these two chapters. What do you think is gonna happen? What do you guys think is going to happen? How do you guys feel about Howler and Jodeo and, and just the squad and everything like that? What do you think could be the future for the Jojo Lands? Um, big comments, long comments, short comments. Again, I want comments. Uh, check out my second channel. It'll always be in the description. All my socials down in there as well. Uh, I have a members. I didn't say that in the intro. If you guys want to support my members in any way, shape, or form, then do that. Please. It's a different way to support the channel. If not, that's perfectly fine. Um, I did say I'll show you guys a drawing, but you know what? I'll save. I'll save that for later. Be I'll save that for December. Why? Because, you know, I'll tr hopefully I can get that video out before New Year's. That would be really cool. So, because it'll be, because what, December 19th? That'll be really close to Christmas. So hopefully I can get out uh, around then. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm done with my, I'm done with my talking. I've been here too long. I've been holding you guys up. Man. In my Hawaii video, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna try to work on that. Hopefully I can get it out before the end of the year. It's just a lot of footage, guys. And yeah. What's next for the JoJo Lands as we try to get rich in the subtropical islands? I'll see you guys next time in the JoJo Lands. All time. And I'm out. Yeah.